this is the biggest festival or celebration, if you like, of elephants in the country. And originally this was set up to be a reminder of that cultural, traditional heritage link that they have, but also to help educate people about how critically endangered elephants are in the wild here. People do have an innate respect for them, but at the same time, it, that, that respect doesn't necessarily translate into good welfare practices. You used to be able to get elephant rides in zoos, didn't you? A hundred years ago, you know, good zoos have stopped that practice and they've stopped it for a reason. They're overworked. They can be doing 20, 30 different rides a day. And elephants, although incredibly powerful and can push and pull a lot of weight, they're not designed to have a heavy weight on their back. It's just taking elephants that were working elephants in the forestry industry to being beasts of burden now for tourists, really. Hey, Calm. Who's How are this? you, pretty girl? This is Calm. Calm. Me, me Calm. Me, Calm. Hi, pretty girl. Uh, what's her story? So she was in the logging industry for about 20 years, and then she was actually at uh, one of the riding camps here in the Wamper Bong, and it was in super bad shape. I mean, you could see all of her ribs. Um, yeah, she's a completely different girl than, uh, than the one that came here. You can see here, like this big bulge, this big pad that's been left over, that's the remnants of an abscess. And that abscess would have been caused from her days in a, in a logging camp and the harness that she wore would have rubbed over it so much that it's effectively left like a, a permanent scar, if you like, or permanent disfigurement. And while she could say traditionally there might be some aspect when it comes to using elephants for logging, it to me still signifies what was abuse really. So they're actually able to socialize with one another, proper diet and veterinary care, and really the chance to interact with one another as they would, as close to possible as they would in the wild. Um, so we bring out a very limited number of guests every day um, and just do voluntary interaction with the elephants. And then basically after that we just take a walk with them through the forests and follow the elephants and watch them rip down trees and be elephants. <laughs> I walked away from the Elephant Festival really heavy hearted. I felt very sad, disappointed, almost like you know, how on earth can we still let that happen in this day and age? You think it sounds so basic taking an elephant for a walk, letting an elephant be an elephant and yet that's so progressive. She's nearly 70 years of age can't be putting her back out into the wild, it, you know, it wouldn't be viable, it wouldn't be fair. So, you know, we owe it to her to make sure that she has the utmost best quality of life that she can have. And 
from what I can see and what I feel, that's definitely what she's getting here.